just want to begin here and then we're going to get right to what you want to talk about. I want to remind you, we want to bring it to the forefront of your mind. If you've been listening to us for a while, then you've heard this in lots of different ways because we never stopped explaining it to you. But today we want to explain it to you in this very simple to understand way. You're emanating a vibration, which means you have a point of attraction. And you really, 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 you really do. You really, 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 really do. You do. You really, really do. You really, really do want to tend to your own point of attraction. You want to tend to it. You want to be aware of what it is. And if it's a pushing against her rather than a calibrating to her, if it's calibrating to who you are and what you've asked for, you want to know it and if it's not you want to know that too you want to tend to your point of attraction because you're the only one who can you want to tend to your point of attraction and another thing that you really want to do you don't know it yet and maybe even by the end of the day we won't have convinced you but it's going to be our never ending since there's no death never dying wish we really 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 want you to understand that you got to tend to your own point of attraction and you want to stop giving anybody else the credit or the blame for what's coming into your experience. You want to be the tender of your own point of attraction. And so since we've been saying that with more enthusiasm, more fervor, more consistency, Esther's been really benefiting by this new way of looking at it because something will happen. It might come through the mail, it might come through the television, it might come through the email, it might come through conversation with someone and she'll trip over it because it's an unwanted thing. And recently she's been catching herself so much sooner by saying, hold it, hold it, hold it. I'm letting that be the reason for my point of attraction. So matches to this are beginning to make their way to me right now. What am I a match to? What am I a match to? More important, what do I want to be a match to? What do I want to be a match to? And whether you're talking about the universe at large or your physical world at large, or whether you're talking about a person who is up close and personal to you, or even somebody you don't know that well, anything that is your object of attention has things that you want to be a match to and things that you don't want to be a match to but you can't rely on them to honor your wishes because they all get to choose what they focus on you are not oh you are not we love you so much but you are not the law of attraction you are not the stage manager you are not the one that gets to decide the rightness and the wrongness of the world and then dictate who needs to do what so that you can feel better. Your kids are going to be so relieved to hear this from you. <laughs> and your mother too. And anybody that you spend any time with because you know what you are? Again, we want you to feel this. We want you to feel this deeply as we express it to you here. You are a born matcher upper. You are, you're seeking calibration. You were born with an ability to do that. What you just didn't quite remember, it's why we're reminding you, is that that desire to find matches is so built in. It's like you want to be understood. You want people to get you. You want people to understand your motives. You want to be on the same page with them. But you know what? You didn't come to be on the same page with everybody all the time. You came to create your own reality and so did they. And the law of attraction will match you up. There's plenty of people to harmonize with you. That's what Esther is beginning to call win-win, win-win. She always wanted, she's always wanted win-win. If something is good for her, she wants it to be good for whoever it is she's co-creating with. Win-win, well, the law of attraction won't let it be otherwise. When you are feeling it, so are they. But you've got to be the one that decides which part of whatever it is that's out there in the person, in the world, in the universe, in the whatever it is, you've got to decide what part of that you want to match to. Have you ever noticed? Esther said this to someone that she loves so much the other day. 
She said, I want to spend more time with you, but we're toxic sometimes when we get focused on that subject because we've trended there a while and neither one of us have the self-discipline to not just go right there <laughs> and we become a match a bigger match when it's two of us than it was when it was just me it's so easy to get ragging on something and then before you know it you have a whole group of raggers around you <laughs> that are ragging 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 and you know why you put up with it it isn't even that you put up with it you like it <laughs> and you know why you like it because you misunderstand why it is you like it because it's you matching something you like it because there's more power when two of you match than when it's just you you like it because your ability to focus get a third one involved and you're off to the races <laughs> you want to match and you know why you want to find matches <sighs> Did we tell you how much we love you? <laughs> Do you know why you want to find matches? You want to find matches because you know that you're good. You know that you have reason for being here. You want to find matches to validate where you are, even when where you are feels sucky, <laughs> especially when where you are feels sucky. That's when you really look for those to defend with you, to justify with you, to join with you. So in all of that, what we just said to you is your born matchers, your born calibrators, your board resonators, but you want to remember that you want to resonate and calibrate and match to who you really are, not to some stray thought that maybe even be so rampant that you think it must be right because so many people are thinking it. But it is our promise to you that if it feels bad to you while you're thinking it, your inner being, your own inner being, your own source energy, your own eternal you, your own whatever you want to call that non-physical cadre of pure positive energy, your own source and souls, that which man calls God is not a vibrational match to you when you feel hate or when you feel confused or when you feel mean or when you feel afraid. You're not matching up to who you are. You're divergent from who you are, but we'll give it to you. You're matching something. <laughs> You're matching somebody who will defend with you for a while, unless you get crossways of them. You ever noticed? I thought you were my friend. Well, I was when we were talking about that person, but now it's just you and me. We know you heard that. You're getting that. Yeah. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next